What's up guys, my name is Diachronic Euros here on this Destiny 2 video and today we're going to be doing a weapon review of the Skyburner's Oath. It's a scout rifle exotic special weapon that you can use to actually shoot through Falling Shields and a lot of people are exclaiming about how it's amazing for the raid and we're going to be talking about that and many other things about this weapon and how to use it and the different colors. I even have a weapon ornament on it and we're going to be uh, doing all the little tests and whatnot. So starting off, to get this weapon, it is an exotic scout rifle for the special slot. You have to get it from a random drop from a random... Uh, exotic engram it doesn't seem to be in any other place very specifically and is one of those slow slow fire rate high impact scout rifles that are very very effective at long range it has a very good damage output very large uh, clip size with extended mags and as well as the fact that it also is just really nice to use against phalanx because you can shoot through if you did not know the perk slug rifle this weapon fires solar slugs get stronger when aiming down sights uh, so basically you just aim down sights you do more damage per bullet and of course the other trait for the empire this weapon's full auto does extra damage to cabal and penetrates phalanx shields pretty much the most important part about it penetrates phalanx shields makes them way easier something to note about it something i noticed if you shoot the phalanx shields right in the middle the little orange section it actually just does regular damage instead of piercing straight through the shield just so i thought i'd mention that because i did uh, have that happen to me as far as the extra damage to Cabal, it isn't that much, but it is still noticeable. You can actually see the numbers. Uh, you can try it on a Cabal, you can fall on a Fallen, and you'll find that it actually does do a little bit more damage. Found that Cabal was a lot easier to clear out. It was great for taking out superior Cabal units, especially considering that they had solar shields. So this weapon in general, I don't know why they would just make a weapon that could be great for destroying themselves, but I guess that's that's what humanity does, but we, we're not going to talk about that. Some people like this weapon in full auto. Some people don't like it and like to do semi-auto. I think my buddy Caboose doesn't like it in full auto, but me personally, I love firing scout rifles in full auto. It makes them a lot more fun, a lot more viable for me, and it's a lot easier to use them personally. And of course, you have that option considering that you can just kind of wait for that next shot, aim, and of course, shoot that shot. As far as Crucible goes, it is actually a somewhat desirable scout rifle. The only problem is that it's more of a long-range scout rifle and it doesn't have that long-range sight on it. But of course, it does have that faster fire weight when you're not aiming down sights, so it might be able to kind of uh, go a little bit more on the mid-range to close-range engagements. But, but for the most part, this is a very good longer-range scout rifle. Does not have very good or very much uh, damage drop-off because the uh, the weapon itself just goes forever. It seems that the range is seemingly infinite. It has really good range, and uh, but compared to some other scout rifles in the uh, Crucible, obviously the higher fire rate or explosive ones like the Mida and the Nameless Midnight are going to be better than this weapon. Just kind of overpower them. The only thing that this one really has over the competition is that it has a really large clip size and has really large range. So if you're going to be using this weapon in Crucible, make sure you have it at range because it is very effective at getting that bullet down range without much damage drop off. As far as using it for Cabal in the raid, it is definitely effective at helping you out with those failing shields, but after a while you start to realize shooting the guy in the middle of the shield is just enough to just shoot him and then shoot him in the head. It's really not that much of an issue after you realize that that is a thing. If they did not have that little shoot the middle of the shield thing, this weapon would be amazing, but Cabal shielders are not that much of a problem anymore, especially with the plethora of grenades, rockets, things that pierce the shield, things that you can shoot through the shield at the little point. So I'd say overall, this would have been better if the Cabal Shield dudes were harder to kill, or at the very least, if there were more of them, and in the raid, there's not a lot of them. If you ever find yourself on a Cabal-type raid, like the Arms Dealer, then sure, try this weapon out. It might be very effective, very useful, because there's probably way more Shield units in there than there are in the raid. And one last thing I'd like to mention, the ornament that I'm using on my weapon, the you can see here, is going to be the goal thing. I think the Red Legion or the Red Gold sh Shader. It was the one that happened last week. You can get it from Eververse. She was selling it last week. I did purchase it last week because it is one of the only ornaments that I really like. All the other ones are kind of uh, wish-washy and not that great, and they kind of just make the gun look worse. Uh, you know, the Red Dwarf not included, of course. And, of course, the tractor gun that makes it look like a portal gun. I thought that one's also pretty cool. The other ones are just kind of weird, like the Darcy makes it look weird, but this one, it looks fantastic, and I would recommend trying to get this if you like this weapon. One last little set of trivia for this weapon is the uh, there's little symbols on the gun that you actually, as you fire, the symbols start to change. This is actually an ammo count in Cabal language. So we actually, way back in Destiny 1, deciphered the Cabal language in I think just numbers there's like a there's like a console that's kind of helps us with like a Rosetta Stone and we figured out what the numbers were for Cabal and you can actually see as you fire this weapon the uh, the symbols will actually start to change and actually count down towards zero this is something I just found out from a guy on Twitter like a few months ago who told me about it and I thought this was a really cool fun little feature 
Anyways, that's the review for you guys today. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you leave a like down below. And of course, subscribe for more web reviews in the future. More fun, more incand incandescent, just like the light bulbs. Yes, sir. -y. And make sure you subscribe for more and to hit that little bell button. I'm not sure what the bell does. And I have heard rumors that it does summon a demonic parrot from, 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 from South America. And it actually spawns in South America, so you don't have to worry about that. But it does. It might. That's what I hear. Anyways, that's about it for you guys today. Anyways, my name's been Nychronic, and I'll see you guys over on the next one.